So here's how to play Myron. Um, I was just kind of trying to figure out like a pretty simplified way to do it. Um, so what you want to do is just throw a capo on your fourth fret. And um, it starts out on an A minor chord. And so you're going to put your index finger on first fret of B, middle finger, second fret of D, ring finger, second fret of G. So you're going to just basically... You're going to be doing that. You're going to be doing down strum and then just kind of rest your hand down and mute. All right. So what you're going to do is three of those on the A minor. Then you're going to go to a G chord. So if you take your middle finger and set it down on the third fret of the low E, and then you can kind of mute out the A string with the bottom part of your middle finger. And then I like to add my ring finger here on the third fret of the B, pinky, third fret of the high E. And you're going to do two more strums. So you're doing one, two, three, all right. Then you're doing four, five on the G. All right, then you got to go to an F. So your index finger goes back to that first fret of the B string. Now middle finger sets down on second fret of G, ring finger third fret of A, pinky third fret of D. And then you're gonna do, um, I like to focus my strum from the A string down. And if that high E string rings open a little bit, I think it still sounds pretty good. So you're gonna do uh, three more strums here. So, it's a total of eight strums, so if you think about it, you're gonna do one, two, three, and then on four and five, four, five, you do the G, and then six, seven, and eight, six, seven, eight on the F, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, the next part I was kind of thinking was, you know, once they get into the verse, um, you know, because this is kind of, it's good for the uh, intro and like the, the sort of the pre-verse, I guess you could say. So what I was doing for the, for the uh, strum pattern is... So what you've got happening there is you've got a mute after the A minor and the G. So you've got down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, mute, and then after the F, down, down, up. You don't want to do a mute because you got to go right back to the A minor after that. So you've got... So as you can see, you gotta you gotta just only do the mute those two times in there to kind of keep things flowing. Mm -hmm. 